हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फ्री रेडिकल मैकेनिज्म सो नाउ वी विल सी हाउ द मैकेनिज्म इज गोइंग ऑन फ्री रेडिकल मैकेनिज्म इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इज इनिशिएशन second step is propagation and third step termination now first step we have to initiate the reaction for initiation of free radical we usually take benzoyl peroxide the structure of benzoyl peroxide is this now the generation of free radical takes place by homolytic fission homolytic fission means if we have one bond it comprises of two electrons so this oxygen will take one electron the another oxygen will also take one electron that means both the electrons have gone to their respective atoms by this division we get this radical now here oxygen have four unpaired electrons now after taking this electron they have five unpaired electrons two radicals have been generated so we have to write down two in this further c6 h5 co o radical now we have initiated the reaction here odd number of electrons are never stable on any atom so the bond between this carbon and this carbon will break one electron will move to this carbon and another will move to this carbon this is like this this is also a carbon so they have taken their respective electron so what do we have now c6 h5 radical plus one radical on carbon and five electrons with oxygen now carbon is also not stable oxygen is also not stable because both have one unpaired electron extra they have odd electron so they will form a bond with this odd electron and it will become co2 carbon dioxide here we had two moles of this radical so here we can balance it with now we move to second step propagation in propagation we are taking this radical because there is no other radical left c6 h5 radical it will attack on ethene now one electron is attacking on this carbon we have to show with half arrow because it is only one electron now there are double bonds there are bonds two bonds each bond contain two electrons so carbon will take this electron back and it will form bond with this carbon one electron which will be left it will go to 
another carbon. Now we will get C6H5, CH2, CH2. Here we are getting one electron on carbon like this. C6H5, CH2, CH2. It will further attack on another ethene molecule. It is attacking on this carbon. Again, there are two electrons on this bond. This carbon will take up its electron and form bond with this carbon. And this electron will move to its respective carbon. CH2, single bond, CH2, radical. Like this, propagation will go on. And after n number of steps, we will get this radical. Now we have to end the reaction, that means the last step, termination, now in the starting during the initiation we had two radicals, two phenyl radicals out of which one we have taken and started the propagation. Another also do the same propagation. So that means we will get two such radicals. Like this. Both have one odd electron. They are unstable, so they will try to react with each other. This will form a bond with this carbon. Like. And mechanism is complete. Students, if you have any question, then please leave it on in the comment section.